So 16 my career as you can see right now. This is my first to um first YouTube video to say right now. So you can follow all capital sneaker nineteen had one and I'll show, um the game two K um the crew um and Mata fifteen. So, and probably Minecraft for the Kind of boring for me. So, I'm gonna start the game. Let's see. Looking nuts today. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, and it is my pleasure to be with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets playing against the Brooklyn Nets. Looking at the Nets, only one win in their last six games. They know they can play much better, looking to be more competitive tonight. And as we march toward the end of the regular season, Shaq, I want your opinion on veterans uh, being rested in back-to-back -back games. You know, I don't hear a lot of people complain, but let me tell you from personal reasons. It's the right thing to do in some cases. Especially for the older teams to have a real yeah, shot to win a championship. Popovich has been doing it. Look how many rings he got. Well, there's been a lot of talk about extending the regular season. Okay. Brooklyn Nets. So right now, like, my career is like, I'm in the middle of it. So I'm not that new or that new. So... I'm a shooting guard and a point guard. Where, I don't know At the shooting guard position, standing oh, six foot five, point guard. number three. Point guard for the game. Some got it. Right now, they're in charge of the season series of two games to none, looking to go for three. And in that game, guys, they were just about as dominant defensively on the interior as you could ever be. And once they got a few rejections, they had opposing scores looking for those long arms and hands, and it caused hesitation in taking shots in there. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Young. Johnson is out there with Jarrett Jack, then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. Jack dishes to Young. It's stolen by Jefferson. A fast break now for Charlotte. It's Boozer missing. Hornets on defense now. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And they ran their offense nearly to perfection in that one. Uh, very that. few possessions like, were wasted. Yeah, they put the mute button you on them that another. time. I mean, in front of a hostile crowd, they never let the fans get going. They silenced them over and over again with big, timely shots. And so here's Charlotte after the miss from Joe Johnson. Walker against Jack. Pass to Mr. Incredible. Trying his luck deep. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Mr. Incredible's got the first bucket of the game with the three for Charlotte. On defense, Charlotte. Jack with it. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Lopez passes to Johnson. Screen by Young. Wow. Six on the shot clock. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. That was Thaddeus Young getting in the way of the defense there, really. 
solidly done on the screen. Kicks to Lamb. Passes to Mr. Incredible. The pass to Boozer. Here is Mr. Incredible, defended by Young. Here is Mr. Incredible. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And don't forget about his playmaking in that game either. I mean, he did a great job of attacking the D and creating opportunities for both himself and his teammates. Here's Jack following the basket by Freak. Inside. Ah, That's so good, good from Johnson on the assist from Jack. Johnson's got his first points of the game. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Here is Mr. Incredible. Five points in the game. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, Lopez a screen. Johnson kicks to Lopez. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Now here's Walker. 14 points from him, the last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Here's Mr. Incredible, Jefferson, and the powerful one-handed slam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with that one-hand tomahawk slam? It's the Nets now. After the basket by Charlotte, Lopez dishes to Johnson. Johnson the screen. Johnson kicks to Lopez. Can't convert after the good screen. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. Oh, yeah. He's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And he'll make him earn him from the line. And that's what you want to see. And he ends up no. missing both free throws. For Brooklyn, Good they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Here's Johnson. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. Yeah, and watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open right. things up on the perimeter. Now here's Boozer. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Boozer's got his first basket of the night. Joe Johnson. This past month, he's really set himself apart. He's putting up about 14 points tonight, five assists. Numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways oh to God. go, but I like what I'm seeing right now. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets, Spencer Hawes has checked in for Boozer, and it's Calderon in for Kemba Walker. And the Nets making a change here as well. Lee's checked in. Brooklyn shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Charlotte's gone one or two from long range. Yeah, I know who they call the one, right? I got the same last name last time. Here is Mr. Incredible. Five points in the game. Screen by Jefferson. Here's Mr. Incredible. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Three. Brooklyn trailing. Lee passes to Jack. Lopez a screen. They set the pick. Johnson attacking. And Lopez has it in the corner. Wide open. Not enough on that one as it misses. Oh, come on. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Out to the wing. Here is Mr. Incredible, defended by Jack. Here's Mr. Incredible. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. 
Young sets a screen uh, for Jack. That's high. That is Young on the wing. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. <laughs> wow, risky shot there, size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Picked by Lee. Lopez right side. Right and it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. And let's take a moment to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. Fifth best, the Nets. Kevin, that's been a nice run lately. They're making a strong effort on the board, and it's working and paying dividends for them. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Tyler Hansbrough checked in for Lopez. Robinson comes in for Johnson. And Donald Sloan subbed in for Jarek Jack. So it's Brooklyn now, following the three-pointer by Freak. And Sloan gets to Young. Another one. Yo, what is Brooklyn. happening? Charlotte leading by three. Let's now go to Doris Burke over across the way. We spoke with Lionel Hollins, and uh, Doris, take it away. Yes, Kevin, and he didn't outright say that he didn't worry about defense here, but it was all about offense for them this game. He said numbers one, two, and three on our list are getting good looks, good movement, and hitting shots. That's all there is to it. Let's see if their approach works. Thank you, Doris. And guys, the focus being on the offensive side of things, they obviously don't want to let their defensive guard down, so to speak, can they? No, no. They're still going to have to be sharp on the defensive side of the floor. It's just that getting into a rhythm offensively it is going to be the main oh. focus here early on. I'm with you on that mindset, but it does leave the door open for them to be taken advantage of at the defensive end. And a few more points tacked on to their lead in the cruelest way possible. You're right. Yeah. Those putback jams sting. Don't, Don't they mind it? Yeah, they really hurt you. I mean, the defense forces a miss and then can't rebound it and finish off the defense. They're hanging their heads in their chest now. They're forcing the ball inside. And it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Now, here is Young. Nine points last game. All right. Here I'm is trying to make it buzzer beater. All right. Let's see that. I, I did it from here. Right here. I'll step a curtain. No good on the last uh, attempt there. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Hornets lead by 10. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Head coach Lionel Holland's known for his no nonsense style, but he'll tell you. I told him all, oh, you can joke with me, you can laugh at me. I'm not perfect. You'll see me hobbling out there on the court. You'll see me stumble as I'm trying to show you a defensive move. It's funny. There was a time when it, you. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't think that Coach Holland is anyone uh, to be trifled with, and I think the net players would agree with me. And some changes here for the Hornets. Boozer comes in for Al Jefferson. And it's Mr. Incredible in for Jeremy Lamb. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Jared Jack has checked in for Donald Sloan. Mr. Incredible in at shooting guard. 
Carlos Boozer out there with Lance Stevenson. And there's Kemba Walker. So that's the Hornets five. Nets trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. I gotta find something, you're right. Robinson a screen on Walker. Kicks it out to Johnson. Here's Jack and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And it's gonna be Lance Stevenson. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good... to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. And the Hornets making a change here. Haas is checked in. Here is Mr. Incredible. He's guarded by Johnson. There's the dish to Boozer. Count the bucket. Boozer's got four points this quarter. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. We gotta be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Rotate over and make your presence felt. First in three-point shooting. They also rank number one in taking care of the ball. Not many turnovers. They value possessions like no other. You, you said it all right there. The hottest shooting team in the league, and that tells you not only are they shooting it well but they're also focused on creating terrific opportunities for one another. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Young comes in for Joe Johnson. And Lee's up in for Tyler Johnson. Here's Mr. Incredible. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing, and right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. Lopez sets a screen for Jack. No good on the triple. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Robinson dishes the lead. He kicks it to Young. They shoot again. Out of hand on it. Here is Mr. Incredible, defended by Jack. A shot's good from Mr. Incredible. And you can sense the momentum really starting to swing their way. Yeah, they're taking charge here. I mean, there's no question about it, Greg. And the lead, I think, is just going to continue to, to grow and grow from here. On the wing, Stevenson to the inside. It's a nice pass in here by Charlotte. Here is Mr. Incredible. 16 points for him. Just three to shoot. From deep three-point range, Lopez grabs the board. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Lee with the ball. Now guarded by Mr. Incredible. Young against Stevenson. Young left side. Back to Lee. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. I tell you what, you can shake your confidence missing wide open shots like that. Here is Mr. Incredible. Incredible numbers looking at his scoring averages. He's currently scoring more than 28 points a game. Leans from outside. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Averaging 29 points per game. Five rebounds and four assists. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best. 
putting points on the board. Absolutely. I mean, he has those real natural scoring instincts. The ability to find creases in the defense, just um, fantastic. And Jack, here we go. That one goes. Oh, Part of Amazing. the reason that they're down is that they haven't been as strong in the paint here. I mean, they've gotten away from taking that ball into the paint with force and strength and attitude. Hands was checked in for the Nets. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Feeds it to Calderon. Hawes, the pass to Ballard. Here is Mr. Incredible, defended by Jack. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Just getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can. Al Jefferson, he's checked in for Charlotte. Vic Lamb comes in for Lance Stevenson. Donald Sloan's checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Sloan. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. There's a screen by Robinson. Here's Lee, and it's good off the back rim and in. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Here is Mr. Incredible. He got it up. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's Charlotte. Well, Jose, you started out. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting under. You look at Freak in this game. He has been everywhere. Him when he's at the helm. Because of that first half, offensively, he was in a zone. It sure is a treat to watch him, guys. I mean, everything's been running through him, and he's doing a fantastic job keeping the offense clicking on all cylinders. Kicking off the second half, here's Lionel Howland's five. Again, Johnson. Brooke Lopez is out there with Young. Then it's Johnson, and it's Jack in at the one spot. And that one falls for Jefferson. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Nets trail by seven. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Nets, played a role for them. He had 12 points and added three rebounds as well. A performance like this was just the trick his team needed to snap their losing streak. And Doris, thank you so much. He couldn't have been much better in that game, could he, G? Not at all. He was great. I mean, that's for sure. If he wasn't at his best, he was awfully close. Guys, he came to compete and win. Let's hope he's got that same attitude, that same energy, that same swag here tonight. to the left side wing off the screen and yep couple bounces and it falls and the Hornets lead by nine how about the screen that frees him up though for the jump Walker against Jack he feeds it to Johnson Lopez right side it's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time-dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Stolen by Boozer. And a fast break now for the Hornets. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. The Hornets have shot 60% from the line, 6 of 10. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting, just about 73%. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. I 
and let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice the Lions gave to his team during that last break. He went over the offensive game plan and that it hinges on running through Lopez. Coach reminded them that he is supposed to be the key factor tonight, and he still wants to see that happen. Well, they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter, and maybe those changes will do the trick, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Well, Lopez has been great. He has nine points, and he's getting it done on the glass, too. You're right, Clark. He's done some real nice work on the inside. That one is no good. Hornets leading by nine. Here is Mr. Incredible. 18 points for him. Jefferson has a wide open look. Here's Mr. Incredible. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And Jack, here we go. Stolen by Walker. One on one here. Got it. Let's get the ball inside. Lopez with the block. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And again, it's the Nets missing. That's one for their first four to start the second half. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Jefferson. Down low. Lamb. And the layup is good. Lamb's got seven points in the game. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle on their offensive end. Johnson kicks to Lopez. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Excellent defense there from Boozer. Shots good by Walker. He has six. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Here's Johnson. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Joe Johnson. Looking at the last game for the Brooklyn Nets, it was a loss to the Hornets. Yeah, it's just hard to make up when you have an inability to make free throws consistently, and that's why they ended up losing. Yes, sir. I think some doubt started to creep in when they kept missing those foul shots. You could see them start to shy away from wanting to even go to the line. No good for Mr. Incredible. Nets trail by 13. Johnson in the corner. Stolen by Walker. To the paint. It's stolen by Johnson. In transition, here come the Nets. A floater, and it's Johnson. That time on the assist from Jack. Jack's got his seventh assist here tonight. Hornets leading by 11. And the foul on Jared Jack. That's his third foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the court for Charlotte, Mr. Incredible, he's in at the point. Carlos Boozer out there with Al Jefferson. Then it's Lance Stevenson, and it's Lamb in at the two. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Here is Mr. Incredible. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Next ball. And the Nets may get a change here. Jack's checked in. Nets trail by 12. Now the Nets. Jared Jack. There's a screen by Hansbro. Jack dishes to Johnson. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. you got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter, and the foul called on Freak. 
And that'll be his third foul so far. Three. That's his third personal foul. Outside, Jim Lopez, no luck. Charlotte leading by 14. Tries a three. That's good. That's 23 points for Freak. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. To the paint, knocks it loose. Stolen by Boozer. Out to the right wing. Here's Mr. Incredible, and it's the Hornets, another three. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Hornets. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim as they've challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. And that one's good by Lopez. Room service delivery right there, fellas. Wonderful entry feed. You got it. Let's get the ball This is the lamp. Pass to Mr. Incredible. No good. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And now in transition is Jack. Here we go. Johnson, a wide open look, and a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got assist number eight here in this one already. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here is Mr. Incredible, defended by Jack. Six to shoot. Now the feed to Lamb. Let's it fly. Jack with the rebound. Jack's got three rebounds now in this one. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. That's his third personal foul. At the line for the Hornets. And that one falls for Johnson. Charlotte making a switch here. Walker's checked in. So he gets them both. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Got it. He dishes it to land. Here is Mr. Incredible. He's guarded by Johnson. Here's Mr. Incredible. Lopez with the block. Johnson against Jefferson. Johnson, the pass to Jack. Lopez kicks to Johnson. Here's the screen. Off the screen. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Lopez. For Charlotte, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Walker the pass to Mr. Incredible. Five to shoot. Johnson over to help. Let's go. Will not go. This is off the front iron. And here's Brooklyn. Right now, they're on a 9-0 run. Outside, Jack. Lopez sets a screen for Jack. Back to Johnson. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for Tyler Hansbrough. Thaddeus Young. So it's the Hornets now. They led the game at one point by 20. Passes it to Mr. Incredible. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. He made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for Mr. Incredible. 28 points, and those four three-pointers he's hit have helped him, too. No doubt, Clark. They'd be in a much different position this game if he wasn't knocking down those triples. He got right to the cup using that screen. And that's now nine points for Jarrett Jack. Hornets leading by 11. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Boozer a screen on Johnson. There's the pass to Mr. Incredible. Goes up the baseline, just five on the clock. And it's Walker penetrating. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. 
Nets trail by 11. Right side, Jack. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. And that's 11 points now for Jack. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. For Charlotte, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, four of nine. Brooklyn with the ball. This run now up to 13-2. Kicks it to Lopez. That's the ball. No good. Excellent defense there from Boozer. Charlotte has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here is Mr. Incredible. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got rebound number five here tonight. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Fade away. Lopez missing again. Charlotte leading by nine. And the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. You know what? He tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. One fifty-three left in the fourth quarter. Here's Mr. Incredible, Young with the steal. Turnovers weren't a story for them early on, but that's changed. And now they're definitely having trouble keeping possession and momentum. Talk about some great numbers for Johnson. He has 15 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. And that's been an important part of his game today. It's really spaced the floor. And the second of two is good. That brings them within eight. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Pass to Mr. Incredible. Charlotte no good that time either. They better clear a spot on the bench for him because that's where he's headed if he continues to take shots like that. And I would venture to say, Greg, it would be the last spot on the bench as well. Here's Lopez. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Mr. Incredible's got seven rebounds in the game. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Get those four. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Johnson against Walker. Down low. Lopez, no luck. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. And at least as I look at it. Back to Walker. Inside, Jefferson. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And the Hornets lead by 10. And you can sense the fact that they didn't want to let the fans down here. It's been a fun night to be in the building. Greg, it really has been. I mean, such a lively, vibrant atmosphere. And no doubt, that played a part in the big win. So all teams making some time timeout. Use it if you need it. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Young with no one around. The three-pointer off the mark. Mr. Incredible can't connect. And so it's Charlotte with the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly put on a good show here at home, and I think they felt they had the edge and that extra little bit of confidence. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Of course. to control the glass a visibly winded warrior here how were you able to get so many shots that came off the iron uh you know i try to be quick off my feet basically you know as long as i bump my guy throw my bounce a little bit i can start to head over that board I know it's a big part of what our team needs. I'm happy to provide. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.
and standing by for the postgame show, let's head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports postgame show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game. Freak. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game. His showcase of his skill set was awesome. He was a beast on the glass. Rawr! That's what I call G-E-E. -E. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, glass eater extraordinaire. Maybe the coach staff asked him to concentrate on that area of the game tonight, because Mr. G was at it. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and 